Hey guys, how's it going? Def Gun here. No, 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 no. No. Fine, maybe Mr. Baby Hands, at least for this one time. Okay. Uh, I, I don't like the Mr. though. I'll, I'll allow it. Fine. We hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving holiday and stuff like that. And today I'd like to come with you guys to see my new deck profile for the UA since it has been over a year since I last premiered them. Since they got the new support as well. Yes, their new support from this last set that just came out like a month, week or two ago. Mm, a few weeks. Yeah. I think. But first we start off with UA Dreadnought Dunker. For this one, he is the Piercer. Also, when he does damage, he gets to pop a card on the field that he targets to pop. Also, all the UAs have a condition to where you can bounce them back to hand, especially summon a different UA monster from your hand to the field. Only one, right? Yeah. So multiple UAs, multiple switches. But this one can pop, do piercing. He's our main beat stick you'd want to run one to two of. Our other beat stick, which is our Armides of the deck, which sadly, due to the new support, he got lowered down to one when he was the main primary OTK target. So with him, when he battles, the opponent cannot activate anything during the damage step, so he beats over flip effect monsters without activating. Three of the newest monster for this deck is UA Player Manager. When a UA monster is normal summon or special summoned, you can special summon this card from your hand. So then once he is brought out to the field, he gets to activate one of the effects. One effect is he can target one card on the field and pop it. His second effect is he can negate all effect monsters on the field except UAs. So with him, you'd want to at least normal summon one, special summon him, get to choose the effect to negate or pop a card. Here's our good new way out of stuff card. The other card we run now is our Omni Negate, UA Perfect Ace. With this one, we can ditch one card from our hand to negate any monster magic or trap that is activated, only during the opponent's turn once. The other card we run at one of, which I really want to put a second one in the side, is UA Blockbacker. For this one, when the opponent special summons a monster or more than one monster, you can have their position switched, and if so, their effects are negated. This effect is a permanent switch and negate effect. Which is the, uh, basically, it's in his name, he blocks. Yeah. He blocks, that's all he does. And he also has the biggest defense out of the cards that's that are in this deck. That's what I'm saying. We also run the Monster Reborn of our deck, his UA Rebound, her. For this one, he is special summoned, we can special summon one UA monster from the graveyard to the field, or when he is normal summoned, we can special summon one. Then we get to the level 4s of our deck where we run the newest card at 3 is Libero Spiker. For this one, you can shuffle back one level 5 or higher UA monster from your hand back into the deck, special summon a different UA monster other than the one that was bounced back in, special summon it to the field, and then bounce this one back to your hand. He has our new way to switch out cards between Ace, Blockbacker, Rebounder, or even Play basically, Manager. Basically all of them. Yeah, all the level 5s or higher that can be used. And this deck would not be complete without the midfielder of the deck, which I am saddened that it has to be down to two when at first I thought they'd be at three. For this guy, he has our normal summon. He can also be a quick attack effect to bring out any other UA monster by targeting that to bounce it back. Then we get into the two non UA monsters of the deck is the two Ash for negating purposes. And then with that, guys, we get into the spells of the deck with three regular UA stadiums. When a UA monster is normal summoned, we get to add one UA monster from deck to hand. If a UA monster is special summoned, we get to increase their attacks by 500. It even works on non-UA monsters that are on the field, on your side of the field, that's when this is activated. Then I am so happy for the newest card that came out, UA Hyper Stadium. When this one is activated, you get to add one UA or FA monster or also have the chance to add one UA Stadium from the graveyard back to hand. Which I don't understand. Which I'm kind of curious on how they're going to bridge UA and FA together. We'll probably have to see in the next set. Yeah. They're going to call it FU. <laughs> it probably would be FU. It's going to be FUA. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, ass! But with that, guys, when this is activated, you get to add that, or you get to pay a thousand, reveal a field spell. And you get one additional normal summon or set to your summon for this turn. Yeah, I am curious on how they're going to bridge them. So your main one would be is to use Stadium first, reveal this, pay the thousand, then switch into this and get two summons and get two adds and a special summon increase. The next cards that we run of three of, I know they're common, I really want to get the OTS <laughs> of it soon, Got it. but three UA signing <laughs> deal. <laughs> Sorry, we just threw up. <laughs> yeah, Bearded Bastard and Lumberjack do not like commons, even though he just profiled his Goki deck with commons. 
But with UA Cyan Deal is we can special them one UA monster from the deck to the field, but it cannot be used as a link material or fusion? No, as a synchro or exes material. And also I take 300 times its level for life point damage. So with this, you primarily want to get any of the UA monsters that you can get help with. The next one that I run in the deck is one UA locker room. For this, you can target one UA monster you control or engrave, bounce it back to hand, gain 500, and then reveal any number of UA monsters from your hand, shuffle them back into the deck and draw that many. This is our new way to reshuffle our hand back in in case we sort of overdrew with, what's it called, aces and uh, player managers. Then only one of is the UA Power Jersey. Really? Yes. What? I was cons I put the second one in the side deck, but for this, it gives one UA monster 1,000 attack and 1,000 defense. Also, if it bows and destroys a monster, it can make a second attack this turn. I'm surprised it's, you're not maxing that out and then playing like Kid in Armory or something. I'm considering that in the next version of this <laughs> for when I can add it. But its other effect is, sadly, if it is not bounced back in, the monster that was equipped gets banished. But thankfully, if the UAs are returned, and this is engraved because the monster was returned, you get to add this back to your hand. So it gets to be recycled. The next three ofs I run in the deck is Pot of Extravagance. Which, for my version of the deck, we really do not care about the extra deck at all. It can be any 15 cards. This is just for the extra draw power. You can also run Pinpoint Landing, maybe yeah. Upstart Goblin, and some other draw cards. The next three of which I know... One of them is only a hollow and two are common. Wait, but hold up. I'm sorry. I'm, I would have gotten it if it was just, you know, all three common, but that's a mismatch. I have the secrets and the cubics. I just didn't want to switch them over to the UAs. Plus, I think I got but, one of the foolishest from Bearded Master. But you switched over the, the extravagances, though. You yes, because I don't have common extravagances. But, but, weren't the, but weren't those in cubics? They were at one point, then they moved to Ghost Tricks, and they moved to the Time Lords, and now they moved the UA. Wait, but yeah, but don't you run Cubics with Extravagance? Not in that very no, since I... thought you did. No, I switched it, remember, with the Numeron stuff. Don't you remember Extravagance and Cubics? Yeah, but not since he played Numerons, because uh, he would banish all his Numeron shit. But yeah, with the Foolish Barrel Goods, we use this to send our UA penalty box from Deck to Grave to help us enable more spells to be added. Common doesn't send... Why not? <laughs> it's common. Then we run one terraforming and one reinforcement of the army since we run five level fours and we run six field spells. Why not? Then for the traps out of the deck, we run three UA penalty box. With this one, when a UA battles a monster, you can bash that monster for two of the opponent's end phases. Its second effect is that if it's in the grave, you can banish it to add one UA spell from deck to hand. I know you guys are flashing those hollows. You guys suck. I also have Germans. Germans, German Ultras. So yeah guys, remember Penalty Box, it's your best staple to go to, it can add a UA spell, it can also be field removal for annoying cards that people have been using on me today. I hate the card! Yeah, so they much. hate it, because I got rid of a Dragoons, and I think I got rid of Avermax with it too today. Yeah. So I've been pretty happy like with twice. that. And the last two cards that I'm running out of the main deck, sorry for the glare guys, is two Solemn Strikes, which is because I'm sort of cheap at the moment, and... But you can you can change it out for basically anything. Yeah, anything can be put in crackdowns. Yes, I know, bearded <laughs> bastard. You have a bunch of hollows, he's and got, I know that. He's got all the solemn strikes, ah, warnings, geez. and judgments. Oh my god. He is such a hater. Such a hater. And then side deck. Yeah, we go into the side deck where I run into the one prank atops for those Wait, moments. The paint is also common. Yes, I know. Wait, where's your twenty can we Pankertops in the folder. <laughs> so at uh, Pankertops, it can be special summoned. We can get rid of some kind of floodgates that are activated on the field. It's also a beater. Three Nibiru for those times that people want to spam go keys at your face the whole time. Yeah, he go he he. I think he rocks me twice, twice in a duel. Yes, one in a duel by the way. In one duel. Yeah, I had to bait him out once, and the second turn I got the other one, and I had to throw it at him. Yeah, to make his token 1,200 defense in zero, what was it, 5,200? 5,200 5, attack, but the first but the oh, first no. one was like 12,000. No, the first one was 5,200 defense with oh. 12,800 attack. <laughs> and I managed to get over it with my penalty box. Yeah, because of penalty box. But then, but then I proceeded to go off again. Yeah. With Goki. 
And then I had to go off against him, and yeah. it was a clash of the warriors yeah, for this one. We should have actually recorded that. It was back and forth, life point hitting. Then the other engine I run is the three gammas and the one driver, which for any of the cards in the main deck, you could actually take five cards out and, well, oh, sorry, four cards out and put those four in. For back row hate, I run three cosmic cyclone. Which, which you should have uh, cited. I know I should have used them against you during that time. Honestly, the, I think those would have worked better than Nibiru. But the Nibiru worked too, either way. The, 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 yeah. The one called by the grave. Gone. The Gone. second copy of UA Power Jersey for those times I actually needed against, say, Dragoons and stuff, if I can bait it out. <laughs> UA Turnover <laughs> Tactics for those moments that the opponent has stuff that I want to just get rid of because my UAs will be bounced back in and I'll get to recycle. High five. Well, his field will be emptied because all his were extra deck. And the last card I run out of the side deck is Red Reboot. For those moments that traps try to overkill me. Again, but that would have also helped you. Yes. <laughs> and like I said, guys, I have 15 cards. For the extra deck, they really do not matter. They can be anything and once to bring a token. Yeah, that's a token. And with that, guys, I hope you do like this deck. I tried to do my best I can to remodel it after the previous build months ago with it. But this is Def Gun, Bearded Bastard, and Lumberjack signing off. Wait, 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 You're wait, Mr. Baby Hands. Yeah, it's Mr. You Baby You literally Hands. said that. Yeah. Damn, I was so close. I was hoping they wouldn't have catch that. Oh, no, no, no. But don't forget, guys, slam that thumbs up, subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you guys have a great Thanksgiving. This is Team Rogue One signing off. See ya.